It's Lifestyle Medicine Week. Time to shout about lifestyle medicine. We're a grassroots organisation trying to address the root causes of ill health, but more importantly, how to support people to make the changes they want to make to lead a healthier life. So with a what, the evidence-based knowledge of lifestyle factors that impact on health, for example, physical activity, stress, sleep and nutrition, but also the how, proven methods to support people to make the changes they want to make to lead healthier lives. Shielding, lockdown, coronavirus have widened health inequalities and we now know that deprivation predicts a far worse outcome from coronavirus. A government policy paper has suggested that this year we should have seen targeted support, tailored lifestyle advice and personalised care to protect against future threats. Well the threat has arrived and now is the time to act. Back in 2010, Marmot suggested that we could address health inequalities through strengthening the role and impact of ill health prevention, and that we should address health promotion with a scale and intensity that is proportionate to the level of disadvantage. To achieve this, though, we need to be able to identify those with the greatest needs, using deprivation scores or broader measures such as the Patient Activation Measure, or PAM, because improved activation has been found to improve health outcomes despite inequalities. So PAM has been suggested as part of the NHS long-term plan. Using PAM and a care and support planning approach would help us find out what support people want, for which lifestyle changes, and how this needs to be tailored to their individual needs. So we could ask questions like, what matters most to you right now about your health? Or what are your health goals? And this way, we can use support such as health coaching, social prescribing, virtual group consultations, or chronic disease remission programmes. Lifestyle medicine should aim high for everyone. It's not just about ill health prevention. We can put chronic disease into remission too. And by asking people what support they need, we can ensure that everyone has a right to remission of long-term disease using a lifestyle medicine approach.